Good morning friends. Welcome back to Relief Tutorials. In the previous session we have discussed about some important terms of science. Quantity, unit, scalar quantity, vector quantity and the terms related to motion. We are in the topic of distance and displacement. What do you mean by distance? Distance means length of the path followed by moving particle length of the path followed by moving particle and displacement sorry displacement is nothing but the straight distance between initial point and final point of motion. Distance is a scalar quantity. It requires only magnitude for complete explanation while the displacement is a vector quantity while giving the answer of displacement you have to describe the direction for the complete explanation one or two examples we have discussed earlier let us see some more first example let us consider this is the number line 0 1 2 3 4, 5 and 6. Let us say I am standing at 1. I start my journey from bungalow number 1. I want to go to bungalow number 4. So, first I go to bungalow number 5. My final destination is 4. But I went to 5 first of all, then I take a U turn and go to 3 and again I, I take a u-turn from here and finally reach bungalow number 4. So in this case find the distance and displacement. So in all the examples which we are going to see in all we are going to find distance and displacement both. So what is the distance here? Distance means length of the path. So you measure the length of the path followed by the particle. So from here if you start counting, when it reach here it is 1, 1 meter distance covered. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So total 7 meter distance covered. What is the displacement? In such type of number line type of example, listen to me. In only number line type of examples, you can find displacement by the formula final position minus initial position. In the last lecture, at the end of the topic, at the end of the lecture, we have discussed this topic. Displacement we can find with the help of the formula final position x f f for final i for initial final position minus initial position. So final position here is 5 uh, sorry 4 minus initial position is 1. So 4 minus 1 is 3 meter. Here the answer is positive. Here the answer is positive. So this positive sign indicates that you are going in the positive direction. In the number line we know that this direction is positive and the reverse direction is said to be negative obviously. So this is the distance and displacement in this example. 
one more example in the same number line consider i am at bungalow number 3 and i want to go to the gate of the society means at bungalow number 0 so first i go to bungalow number 5 and then i go to bungalow number 0 means to the gate so this is your final position and here is 3 means the initial position from where we started our motion. So in this what is the distance travelled? Distance again means length of the path. So you just measure the length of the path from this point from the initial point. So when you reach here it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 units means 7 meter distance travelled again. And what is displacement? Again, in this number line type of example, we can find displacement by the formula xf minus xi. So, what is xf? Final position is 0. So, xf is 0 minus xi is 3. So, 0 minus 3 gives to minus 3 meter. So, minus 3 meters, so this minus sign indicates the direction that you are moving in the negative direction. So, this is the complete answer of displacement in such type of examples. Some other type of examples. See, uh, before going towards the other examples, how we find the displacement in both these cases? We have subtracted final position minus initial position. Final position minus initial position is also called as change in position. change in position see change in physics change is described by delta symbol for change of any quantity is described by delta so here change in what change in position symbol for change in position is delta x delta means change x means position for example here let us say the temperature of one of the boiling substance initial temperature of one of the boiling substance is 30 degrees celsius and after some time the temperature noted because you are giving the heat to this object to, the, to this substance so final temperature noted after some time is 70 degrees celsius so if you asked what is the change in temperature then what you will do so to find the change in temperature you will do like this change in temperature is equals to final temperature minus initial temperature so this change in temperature change means delta temperature t so delta t delta t means change in temperature is equals to final temperature minus initial temperature so if you put the values to find delta t, delta t is equal to Tf is 70 minus Ti is 30. So change in temperature is 40 degrees Celsius. So delta, what I this is the extra example just to explain the symbolical form of change in any quantity. Change is described by delta x for position. So delta x means change in position that is nothing but the displacement. So, one more definition we can write for displacement is change in position, change in position of moving object or moving particle is called as displacement, change in position. Please make a notes of these all terms. One more example to find distance and displacement. Let us consider this is square field. Sorry, rectangle field. This is A, B, C, D. One of the person is walking from point A, starts walking from point A. It goes to B to C to d 
so the journey is from a to b to c to d so initial point of the journey is a and final point is d the length of this ab side let us say it's 10 meter and length of this bc side it's 8 meter so obviously this cd also will be 10 meter and ad is also 8 meters so we have all the measurements of the field now you find the distance covered by the particle and also the displacement so here the distance means distance means length of the path so what path he has followed going from a to b then b to c and then c to d so this is the path followed a b c d so this is the path followed by the walking person so the, i think the length of this will be what 10 10 plus 8 8 plus 10 so can i say it's 10 plus 8 plus 10 this is the distance traveled 10 plus 10 20 20 plus 8 28 meter is the distance traveled by that person distance the scalar quantity so no need to mention the direction but displacement now displacement means the straight distance between original means initial point and the final point so initial point is a and final point is d so this is the displacement the straight distance between the initial point and the final point is this and this length is only 8 meter but because this is not the example like number line here we have to mention the direction this is the answer of magnitude this is the magnitude of displacement but if you want to write direction i think direction is not mentioned here so if direction is not given you just write the direction is from a to d direction from a to d means downward direction like this displacement means straight distance between initial point and the final point of the journey no matter what path you are following while finding the displacement so you just focus on the initial point and the final point and you measure the length in number line type of examples only we can use this formula of xf minus xi here we cannot use that because it is not a number line type of example here we have to use your own logic that it straight distance between these two is 8 meter so that is the answer and now displacement is a vector quantity so along with the value you have to mention the direction here no directions are mentioned north south east west is not mentioned for example then you write just simply a to d more examples consider again it's a rectangular field length of this side is 4 meter and length of this side is 3 meter so this should be 4 again and this is again 3 this is point a point b point c and point d now one of the person starting its journey from a goes to b and goes to c only this is the motion of one of the person going from a to b to c now you find distance and displacement both so distance means distance means length of the path so it's going from a to b and then b to c so i think this is the path followed so length of this side is 4 and this side is 3 so distance traveled is 4 plus 3 means 7 meter distance is a scalar quantity so no need to mention the direction now displacement displacement here means straight distance between initial point and final point initial point is a and final point is c so i think this is the straight distance between initial point and the final point so how you will find this distance how you will find this ac here no information about this ac is given to you 
we have been given this measurements of sides a b b c c d and d a so to find the length of this a c i think we can use the pythagoras theorem of right angle triangle can you see that this is one of the right angle triangle here also it is uh, the length of a b is 4 length of b c is 3 so this is i think hypotenuse if you see this triangle a b c only huh? just focus on this triangle only in this triangle a b c we need to find a c and a c is the opposite side of this right angle so it is hypotenuse so according to pythagoras theorem displacement here displacement here means a c displacement here means a c then how can we find a c so using Pythagoras theorem formula what is that formula that hypotenuse square means a c square is equals to a b square plus b c square I think you are well aware of this formula a b square plus b c square now substitute the values we need to find a c we focus on that so a c square is equals to a b square a c is missing so a b square means 4 square and 4 square means 16 plus b c square b c square means 3 square 3 square is 9 so a c square therefore a c square is equals to 16 plus 9 25 so a c square is 25 so taking root to both the sides so a c is equal to root of 25 is 5 so a c is 5 so here we can say displacement is 5 meter because this length we found as 5 now what is the direction no directions are mentioned so you just simply write initial point to final point initial point is a to final point is c so you can write a to c this is your direction temporary is that clear the path followed by the particle is what a to b to c so distance means length of the path so 4 plus 3 7 done now displacement means displacement means here this straight distance between initial point and final point that is ac this is displacement okay so how we can find ac so here ac is acting as a hypotenuse in this right angle triangle so we have used the pythagoras theorem of right angle triangle ac square means hypotenuse square is equals to sum of square of other two sides means ac square is equals to ab square plus bc square so ab square is 16 bc square is 9 so ac square is 25 so ac is 5 displacement we found as 5 meter direction is from a to c one more example now somewhat complicated let us consider this is the circular jogging track circular jogging track the radius of this circular jogging track is 7 meter this is point a this is point b this is point c and this is point d these are the four diametrically opposite points if you join ac it is diameter if you join bd it is also diameter but let us see if we, if we need to join them or not the radius is given as 7 meter now consider one of the particle or one of the uh, sprinter the jogger starts is jogging from point a so first question in this the one of the person starts is jogging from point a to b to c he jogs for a to b he is following the circular path a to b to c so he is going from a to b to c so this is the path followed by the particle in motion so you have to find again two things distance and displacement so what is distance distance means length of the path 
you have to measure the length of this path i think you know about the circumference of a circle circumference means the whole length from a to a this length is totally called as circumference but here the particle is not completing the whole circumference he is completing the half circumference only so formula for circumference of a circle c is equals to 2 pi r if you remember so this is the full circumference but here the distance is half of the circumference so half into circumference c again the particle is starting from a starting its journey from a to b to c means following the curved path so the half circumference is covered half circumference means half into circumference put the value half into circumference means 2 pi r so can we cut 2 before doing anything yes so here the distance is half circumference as pi r okay now put the value of pi and r pi means 22 by 7 and r means radius radius of the path is given to you as 7 so 7 7 cancelled so distance covered here is 22 meter now what is displacement displacement means straight distance between initial point and final point initial point is a and final point is c so the straight distance is like this and can you see this straight distance means the diameter of a circle so here the displacement means diameter and diameter is double than the radius we know this radius is 7 so 2 into 7 so the displacement is 14 meter how to mention the direction so i think the initial point is a and final point is c so 14 meter a to c this way keeping this same path in your mind another second question from the same figure this was the first question that we have solved this was the first solution now second path let me describe let us say the particle is going from a to b to c to d to a again so the particle going from a to b to c to d to a so going from a to a the whole circumference is covered then how to find the distance second answer we are doing how to find distance distance means the whole circumference covered or not the whole circumference is covered going from a to a so the whole circumference is covered so the distance here means circumference and the formula for circumference is 2 pi r so put the values 2 into pi means 22 by 7 and r already given as 7 so 7 7 cancelled and 22 2 are 44 meter is the distance traveled and now what about the displacement look at here the particle starts displacement means displacement means the, the definition for displacement is straight distance between the initial point and the final point but what is the initial point here a and what is the final point here a so it seems to be not displaced particle starts its journey from a and ends it a so displacement here is zero so from these we can conclude in the previous cases we found the displacement negative also sometimes we found the displacement positive also and here we found as what zero also so displacement can be positive negative and zero and distance is always positive distance is always positive okay distance is always positive because it is nothing but the simple length of the path and displacement can be positive can be negative and also zero okay this way number of examples can be solved 
one of the example given to you in your textbook let us see some blue color questions are given in your textbook blue color uh, questions on page number 100 please take out from your textbook the first question is an object has moved through a distance page number 100 textbook blue colored questions an object has moved through a distance means one of the object has traveled certain distance can it have zero displacement if yes support your answer with an example so recently we have done here in the second example the distance is not zero the particle has moved through a distance in the second example path is a to b to c to d to a okay so starting point is a and ending point of the journey is also a but displacement is 44 sorry distance is 44 distance covered so here the question is that one of the object had moved through the distance can it have zero displacement yes it can have zero displacement then what is the reason the reason is here the initial point and the final point of the motion is same so it can have zero displacement so what we can say when can we have zero displacement so we can have zero displacement only when that initial point and the final points are same initial point and final points of the journey if are same then we can say the displacement is zero if you want to give an example i think this is the example that if on the circular path starting point of the motion and ending point of the motions are same then the displacement can be zero and distance is always positive second question from your textbook blue color question on page number 100 question number two uh, read that question carefully a farmer moves along the boundary of a square field of side 10 meter in 40 second here the farmer is moving along the square field let us consider this is the square field having side 10 meter length of each side is 10 meter because it is a square page number 100 blue question number 2 read that question carefully if you don't have your textbook please open it a farmer moves along the boundary of a square field of side 10 meter in 40 second question is what will be the magnitude of displacement of farmer at the end of 2 minute 20 second from his initial position ok so it is given that farmer is going through the boundary the first statement the farmer moves along the boundary of the whole field in 40 second means if farmer starts his journey from this let us give some points a b c and d so let us consider here the farmer starts his journey from a so it is given that if it goes along the whole boundary boundary means the whole circumference so a to b to c to d to a so the whole perimeter is traveled during 40 second it is given in your text the first statement a farmer moves along the boundary of a square field of side 10 meter in 40 second so he goes through the whole boundary in 40 second one complete perimeter traveled in 40 second so indirectly in 40 second farmer completes one perimeter but now the question is what is the question i am writing here what is the displacement actually in your textbook it is just asked magnitude it is given in your textbook look at the question 
they are asking for the magnitude of displacement only they are not asking for the direction so here we don't have to worry about the direction while writing the answer of displacement the question is what is the magnitude of displacement and distance at the end of 2 minute 20 second from initial point means the farmer is continuously walking along the boundary of the field for 2 minute 20 second we know that in 40 second it completes he completes one perimeter so this is totally how many seconds these are so total time of walking total time of motion we can say is 2 minute means 60 60 120 second 120 second plus 20 second means total time of motion is 140 second so 40 second to complete one perimeter 40 again e he keeps on moving so one more 40 second means 80 second and completes two perimeter 40 plus 40 180 or not let me recap again the farmer is moving along the boundary of the whole field in 40 seconds means 40 second to complete one perimeter then can you tell me what is the time required to complete only one side 10 seconds 10 seconds here, 10 seconds here, 10 seconds here, and 10 seconds here because it is a square field. So 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds, 10 seconds. So 40 second. So 40 second means one perimeter. What is the length of this set? 10 meter, 10 meter, 10. So 40 meter distance. Finally, we got one conclusion: 40 meter distance traveled in 40 seconds. One more 40 second means 80 meter, 80 second. So 80 second means 80 meter distance travel, two circum, uh, two perimeter. But he is walking for 140 second. Oh, oh. so 40 plus 40, 180, 180 plus 40, 120, then 120, then 10, 130, 130 and 10, 140. So if he starts his journey from A, and he keeps on walking for 140 second then in 140 second he can complete this perimeter three times 40 second 80 second 120 second 130 second and 140 second so at the end of 140 second he is at point c the final position now what is the distance travel distance means length of the path be careful he has completed one two three complete perimeters so 40 meter distance in first round another 40 means 80 meter distance at the end of two round 120 meter distance at the end of three round 130 meter distance 140 meter distance so distance traveled is 140 meter in 140 second so actually he is traveling with one meter per second speed 1 meter distance it, he is completing in 1 second. So, in 140 second he can complete 140 uh, meter distance. So, total distance traveled is 140 meter. But what about the displacement? Displacement is displacement means the straight distance between the initial and the final point initial point is a and final point is c so i think this is your displacement but we don't have any information regarding this but again we can use the pythagoras theorem because it is again a right angle triangle so to find the length of ac can we say that in triangle a b c ac is hypotenuse b is right angle so according to pythagoras theorem ac square is again is equals to a b square plus b c square we want to find ac so ac is missing ac square is equals to a b square plus b c square and therefore ac square is equals to a b square a b square means 10 square 10 square is 100 plus b c square is again 10 square 10 square is again 100 
so can i say like this look at here carefully mathematical operations are complicated ac square is equals to 100 plus 100 means 200 100 plus 100 200 and we want to find the root now so root of ac square is ac and root of 200 is not possible so what we can write root of 200 can i write root of 200 as 100 into 2 we are factorizing this number in such a way that the maximum number maximum perfect square number is taken out so 100 into 2 root of 100 is 10 therefore ac is root of 100 is 10 and root of 2 is not possible so it is root 2 so 10 root 2 meter is the displacement but if we put but root 2 is generally taken as 1.41 okay then therefore can i say that ac is equals to 10 root 2 and in place of root 2 we write 1.41 so 10 into 1.41 means 14.1 meter more precisely if you substitute the value of root 2 as 1.414 precise Precisely, if you use three decimal places, so if you use 10, 1.414, so the answer will be 14.14 meter. So, this is your answer of your displacement. Actually, in the question, they are just asking for the magnitude of displacement. Distance was not asked, okay, but then also we have calculated distance was not asked but then also we have calculated the distance distance means simply the length of the total path followed by the particle so here the displacement we can find with the help of pythagoras theorem and that ac we found as 14.14 meter distance okay now can we have now just uh, not the blue color question we are solving one more example i want to give you by my own can we have such example in which distance and displacement both are same can we have such example because none of the example we have taken in which we see the distance and displacement both are same let us see consider here is the square field this is point a point b point c and point d one of the person is going from point a to b this is the journey only length of this is 10 meter then what is the distance traveled distance is length of the path and that is what 10 meter and displacement means displacement means Displacement means the straight distance between initial and the final point. So, straight distance between the initial and the final point is 10 because it is straight only. So, 10 meter displacement along the direction from A to B. Just we have to mention the direction for the complete answer. So, here the distance is 10, here the displacement is 10. So, can we see that both the magnitudes are same? So, in which case we can say the distance and the magnitude of displacement both are same? The case in which the particle is traveling on the straight line. So, one note you have to remember that if a particle is traveling on the straight path, then distance is equals to magnitude of means magnitudely both will be same when the particle is traveling on the straight path in our chapter from now on we are going to solve only those examples in which particle is traveling on the straight path so, if the particle is traveling on the straight path, that type of motion is called as linear motion. Linear, traveling on the straight line. So, in 
our syllabus means in our chapter we have a very simple motion to be studied and that is the linear motion okay now some facts regarding now we have discussed the distance and displacement thoroughly now some facts regarding distance versus displacement what is the difference between these two okay now what is the uh, facts to be studied now what is distance and what is displacement remember first fact distance is always larger than displacement because in all the cases distance is always larger in this example if you see distance is 7 meter displacement is 5 so distance is larger than the displacement distance here is 22 here displacement is 14 so distance is larger than the displacement here is 44 and here is 0 so distance is always larger than the displacement but in this example distance is equals to displacement displacement is actually what the straight distance between the initial and the final point so can you have such example in which displacement is larger never displacement can never be larger because displacement is already a shortest path okay so displacement can never be larger than the distance yes distance in most of the cases is larger and in some cases it is equal so can i say distance is either bigger or equal to displacement second fact displacement can be positive negative or zero but distance is always positive distance is always positive when the particle is traveling on the straight path distance and displacement are same displacement can be positive negative and zero according to the direction but distance is always positive is that clear so these small things you have to remember Again, you go for the blue color question from your textbook. Blue color question number 3. Look at that question, page number 100. Blue color question number 3. 1 and 2 we have solved. Third question is this. Which of the following is true for displacement? Three state, uh, two statements are given. First, it can be 0. Is it correct for the, uh, that displacement can be 0? Yes, we have solved one example in which displacement was 0 when the particle is going from A and ending at A means when the initial and the final points are same displacement can be 0. So, the first statement is uh, the question is which of the following is true for the displacement. So, the first is given as it cannot be 0 sorry it is not uh, the question is it cannot be 0. So, it is a false statement. Because it can be 0 if the initial and the final points of the journey are same. Second statement, its magnitude is greater. Displacement's great magnitude. They are talking about the displacement. Its magnitude is greater than the distance. So, I think again this statement is false. Because magnitude of displacement can never be bigger than the distance. Distance can be bigger than the displacement. But displacement can never be bigger than the distance distance so both the statements are not correct for displacement so this is all about the numericals we have solved regarding distance and displacement many examples i have given you out of this out of the uh, textbook also some examples may be given in your exercise okay so on page uh, on exercise pages 112 on page number 112, you have been given some numericals. Look at the first question. Page number 112. Exercise question number 1. Look at the question. An athlete completes one round of a circular track. One of the circular track is here. One of the athlete is completing one round of a circular track of diameter 200 meter.
what is the diameter of the circular track is given 200 meter the diameter page 112 exercise question number 1 one of the circular track is given and on this circular track the diameter is given as diameter is given as 200 meter let us say and this way we draw the circular track these are the uh, points let us give a b c and d the whole diameter is given as 200 meter so the radius obviously is 100 meter now the athlete completes one round one round in 40 seconds athlete completes one round in 40 seconds so the question is what will be the distance covered and the displacement means you have to find distance and displacement at the end of 2 minute 20 second i think is the same example as the farmer example you have to find distance and displacement at the end of 2 minute 20 second he completes one round in 40 seconds but he is traveling continuously for 140 seconds 2 minute 20 second means 2 minute means 120 second and more, more 120 means 140 seconds so if you see in 40 second he is completing one circumference in 40 seconds can we say look at here 40 second to complete one circumference can i say we can divide the whole circumference into four parts 10 second here 10 second here 10 second here and 10 second here so this required 10 second this path required 10 second this path required 10 second this path required 10 second he is com continuously running for 140 second so 40 80 120 130 and 140 so if he starts his journey from a after 140 second he will be at point c so this is the initial point and this is the final point of the journey now you have to find the distance and displacement distance means length of the whole path so can you see in the distance see 40 second to complete one so one circumference distance 40 second one more circumference distance 80 second then 120 second 130 and so three circumferences completed one two three and a half so distance here means three and a half circumference three and a half sorry so three integer one by two so it is three two is six plus one seven by two circumference seven by two circumference means seven by two into two pi r two cancelled so it is seven into pi pi is 22 by 7 into r radius is 100 we found it so seven cancelled 22 into 100 means 2200 meter distance travel distance means length of the path one circumference two circumference three circumference and a half circumference so three and a half so it is seven by two circumference and 2200 meters but what is displacement displacement means straight distance between initial point and the final point so initial point is a final point is c so the straight distance is nothing but the diameter diameter is of 200 meter so here the displacement is diameter so it is 200 meter if you want to mention the direction it is a to c okay so that is the so this is all about the distance and displacement and their numericals the most important thing you have to do is what you have to maintain the notes first of all you keep the notes keep repeating those notes and be practicing best of luck